We're living, Hosea. We're living. Look at me. We're living. Even you. Well, friends, be careful what you wish for, because I asked for your horses, and you sent your horses, and now we have part one of the horse fashion show. The response was overwhelming, and it was such a pleasure looking over your horses and reading your comments. Rest assured that if you do not see your horse in this video, it will be in part two. For part one, Arthur's showing off his Dark Bay Turkoman with the Rattlesnake Vaquero saddle and a mohawk. I know some of you hate mohawks, and I don't know what to tell you. Arthur likes them, and I pretty much just let Arthur do whatever he wants. Let's get started. FatboyDan02 writes, This is my American Standard Bread named Blackheart with a Neller Dakota saddle. John is decked out in some crazy pirate outfit he concocted after drinking copious amounts of aged pirate rum. We've all been there, Dan. I know how you feel. Dan has been with the channel from the beginning since we had less than 100 subs. There are old videos where he had the only comments and for a while it seemed like he was the only one watching. He kept me going at the start and my gratitude for his role in growing this channel is beyond words. Well done my friend and many thanks. Also, if you happen to see FatboyDan02 in the comments, be sure to stop by and say hey there mister. A Blaze Demon, another friend of the channel and very active in the comments, writes, Here is Black Fire. The saddle is the improved Gurdon Vaquero saddle, and he is a Dark Bay Turkoman. He is strong, quick, and was my John's first horse besides Rachel. His name is Black Fire because of his dark and orange coat. This is Red Cowboy, wearing the Panther saddle, and is in my opinion one of the most underrated horses in the game, the Dark Bay Andalusian. He is an absolutely outstanding horse, brave, tough, and amazing in gunfights. His name is Red Cowboy because of his red and dark coat. Now you probably know Emerald and Buell's saddle and breed, but I'll give you some quick comments. Buell is a beautiful looking horse and he's a tank. And obviously the storyline behind him gives him so much more. Emerald is lightning quick, but she's a Missouri Foxtrotter, so that's a 100% given. Well done, Ablaze. These are some fine choices and you have an excellent stable. Looking good, friend. AB Plays has a Dark Bay Turkoman named Isaac with a panther saddle. And he writes, I like this horse because of its breed and it's fast and brave. I named him Isaac because of Arthur's son. Looking good, friend. The Dark Bay Turk is in my top three. Amber Rhea has a silver Turkoman named Silver Dollar with the Lumley McClellan saddle. Nice one, Amber, and a fine tribute to Hosea, one of my favorite gang members. Everything went wrong after that bank job in San Denis, if you know what I mean. Arca Gaming writes, My saddle is the Gurdon Vaquero saddle. The Missouri Foxtrotter is named Ken Arok, while the Black Arabian is Bajing Ireng. He goes on to explain, I named Bajing Ireng, taken from the Indonesian term Bajing Lonkat, which means robbers of cargo from vehicles, like trucks and buses, that are running, and Ireng from the Javanese, which means black. And Kenarok is one of the names of the king of the biggest kingdom in Indonesia. Excellent names, friend, and I appreciate the cultural lesson. It's nice to think of Arthur in Southeast Asia. I think you'd like it there. Well done. Art of War 805, also known as Angel, very active in the comments, has a silver Turkoman named Shadowfax, equipped with the improved Lumley Ranch Cutter saddle. And he writes, attached you will find screenshots of my trusty steed Shadowfax. Since this is a fashion show, I went for looks rather than stats. Looking forward to the comments of yours and others. Thank you for your ongoing work to the Red Dead community and creating amazing content. Wishing you all the best, my friend. And thank you for your kind words, Angel. I appreciate them. Also, the Silver Turkoman is a very pretty horse. And of course, I like the Lord of the Rings reference. That's probably my favorite trilogy from this century. I used to love Peter Jackson, but I was so disappointed in The Hobbit, and then I couldn't even finish Mortal Engines. But I digress. Looking good, friend. Well done. Moving on. Boneless, another friend of the channel, has a Dark Bay Turkoman named Shadow with the Panther Blanket and Alligator Saddle. And he goes on to write, My new Ardennes named Shalisha. She is tough as nails. The Dark Bay Turk is in my top three, and those Ardennes are built like tanks, easily the bravest horses in the game. Well done, friend. Bossatron writes, This wild bay mustang is named Rodney. I named him after my grandfather who passed away a few years ago. He loved westerns more than anything. The saddle is the beaver saddle from the trapper. He has a natural mane and a long black tail. He is also one of the bravest horses Arthur and I have ever had, and he means a lot to us. 
And this is Reginald, named after my great-grandfather and World War II vet. Braver than my Mustang, he stared down a cougar and didn't flinch. He is a flaxen chestnut Hungarian half-bred. Natural hair, still has the beaver saddle from the trapper, and I found him in the wild. He is my new favorite horse. I think those are great tributes to your family, and I like how you're using this game to connect to your history. I love Mustangs, and that flaxen chestnut has such a pretty coat. Excellent choices, and thanks for sharing, Boneless. Cade Rainwater writes, here is my Missouri Foxtrotter. His name is Vince. I know he would love to be in your video. I've always got room for another MFT, and the Amber Champagne has such a pretty coat. Well done, friend. Cole Modriscoll writes, my horse is named Sonic. He is a reverse dapple black Nakota. The saddle is the rattlesnake saddle. And that is a lovely horse, smoky black and so fast. Well done, friend. Thank you. Dusty Productions, another great friend of the channel, writes, The Tiger Stripe Mustang is called Mick Jagger, and he has the Rattlesnake Saddle on. The Fuspot Appaloosa is called Invictus, and he has the Rattlesnake Saddle. The Raven Black Shire is called Odin, and he has the Alligator Saddle. And the Dark Bay Turk has the Rattlesnake Saddle, and it is called Valhalla. Can you tell I like the Rattlesnake Saddle? Looking good, Dusty, and those are some great names. If you see Dusty Productions in the comments, be sure to say hi, or better yet, come hang out during the premieres and say hi in the chat. Dynek writes, here is Maximus, a white clad ruber with the standard basic saddle. Tamuchi, meaning to blend in with the environment. A bay frame Overo Criollo with the improved Neller Dakota saddle. Dauntless, a silver tail buckskin American standard bread with an improved Neller Dakota saddle. And Mr. Bang, a blue roan overo criollo with the standard basic saddle. And finally Trojan, the iron gray roan ardennes with the improved Nuller Dakota saddle. Looking good, friend, and I certainly do appreciate seeing all these online horses, especially the criollo. Well done. L. Claps 01 has a white Arabian named Xena with the Gurdon Vaquero saddle in smoke and charcoal with hooded stirrups and the brass eagle horn. Well done, friend. You can't go wrong with an Arabian, and I do like that brass eagle horn. It's a nice touch. Epic Gamer writes, This is my Perlino Andalusian. I named him Luis. He really reminds me of the rose gray Arabian from the Blackwater stables. Well done, Epic Gamer. That Perlino is one of the best horses for Arthur in story mode. FU Google No Name writes, I have two horses, both named Buell. Buell and Buell, get it? They are both Cremelo Gold Dutch Warmbloods with the Panther Trapper saddle. F.U. Google No Name came up with an exploit to get multiple Buells that he once told me about and then I completely forgot. But I am sure he'll be happy to explain it in a comment if you ask him nicely. Fanatics on YouTube has a Silver Dapple of Missouri Foxtrotter with the Gurdon Vaquero saddle. Looking good, friend. You can't go wrong with one of the best horses in the game. GP Taehyung EX has a horse named Nitress, a silver dapple Missouri fox trotter with the Gurdon Vaquero saddle, and he writes, We've hit a million trees together, and I've only had her for a week. Okay, friend, that's a whole lot of trees. Go easy on your horse. Take care of her, and she will take care of you. Well done. Harvey from Twitter has a fine-looking red chestnut Arabian and what looks like a chocolate brown Dutch warm blood in Chapter 4. Well done, friend. Horse Lover one writes, Hello, this is my brindle thoroughbred named Asher. He's an expert in hitting into trees. I use the improved Gurdon Vaquero saddle in the color natural and coffee. Lots of tree crashing going on right now. I don't know what that's all about. But I'll tell you what, the brindle thoroughbred is one of my all-time favorite horses for Arthur. Something about all those stripes. So it's great to see one in this video. Well done, friend. Jacob T. writes, both of my horses are in this picture. The Mahogany Bay Tennessee Walker is named Young One, and I named him that because he's got the spirit of a young horse in him and is willing to go anywhere. My second horse is the Perlino Andalusian. His name is Trigger because it's like the Lancaster Repeater. Once you pull the trigger, he's gone and ain't gonna stop. Both horses use the Beaver Roping Saddle, and I tamed Trigger in Chapter 2. Good to see Arthur's first horse, and you can't go wrong with the Perlino. And Trigger is a very traditional, classic Western name for a horse. Well done, Jacob. J-Mac, a great friend of the channel, writes, Here's Arthur with Chris the Horse, named after a friend of mine who used to be a bouncer at the local tavern. Chris the Horse is a thoroughbred brindle, stolen with pride from a race with the Lady in Lemoyne, equipped with the beaver roping saddle from the Trapper, the weathered chestnut upgraded saddlebag. 
The weathered russet canvas bedroll with a natural speed of 7 upgraded to 9 and a natural acceleration of 5 upgraded to 7 and also the natural mane and tail. And another brindle back to back. That wasn't planned. This is alphabetical, but I am very happy to see Chris the brindle thoroughbred. Thank you, J-Mac. Kloof and Pickle writes, here is a sooty buckskin Dutch warmblood named Lamray and a gold Turkoman named Hangrion. Both are sporting the Rattlesnake Vaquero saddle, best looking saddle in the game. I chose their names from the Two Horses King Arthur Road. Had to post them both because I love them equally. So do I, friend. So do I. And those are some great names. I did not know the names of King Arthur's horses. Well done. This video is sponsored by Batmantonio, my second gaming channel where we play every other video game that isn't Red Dead Redemption 2. Like and subscribe for longer format deep dive gaming commentaries where I overanalyze and focus on the details. I apologize for the interruption and back to the video. Leo Corder writes, the name Big Meat Jimmy, the breed Missouri Foxtrotter, the coat Amber Champagne, and the saddle Rattlesnake Vaquero. Well done, friend. A man of few words. I can respect that. And the Amber Champagne has such a pretty coat. Good job. Lightning Slay 45 writes, This is my horse, Spirit. He's a Tiger Mustang. I use the Nacogdoches saddle. Overall, the bravest horse I ever had. Looking good, friend. You guys get all the best saddles online, and the Tiger Mustang is one of my favorites. Well done. Lone Rider, a great friend of the channel, writes, My screen name is now Lone Rider, a.k.a. J. Irvin Hadley. Arthur catches a wild horse. The light was breaking just fantastic, so I can't reproduce a photo like it with a saddle on. This horse shines like a copper penny. Thus the horse is named Penny. And also another Brindle thoroughbred, my all-time favorite. Nice to see the Brindle getting some love in this video. Well done, Lone Rider, and if you see him in the comments, be sure to say hey there, mister. Marco M. writes, This is my favorite horse, Bronco, a male tiger-striped bay mustang. Well done, Marco. The Tiger Mustang is one fast horse, and just look at those stripes. Magnificent. Mate B writes, This is Nira, a black American standard bred. She is a very good girl, brave, fast, and extraordinarily beautiful. I usually use the Panther Trail Saddle, but now I'm using the Brown Gurdon Trail Saddle with the Brass Eagle Pommel and Hooded Stirrups. I'm a very big fan of yours and have recommended your channel to all of my friends. Well, I appreciate that, and I am absolutely a very big fan of Nira. And I also like your Arthur's outfit, very traditional, and the blue jeans are a classic look. Thanks, friend. Matsuko writes, This is Corsel Diablo, my tiger-striped bay mustang. He is one of a kind, and if you are wondering, Corsel Diablo translates to Devil's Steed in Spanish. John Marston has been using him since he found him near Rio del Lobo Rock, and he is a brave, well-sized, and fast horse. Well done, Matsuko, and I speak a little Espanol, but I did not know that Corsel Diablo means Devil Steed. That is an excellent name. Great job. Nigaki2333 writes, This is my absolute favorite white Arabian, Snowstorm. I named her that not only because of her white coat, but also because when I found her for the first time, there was a big snowstorm happening in the mountains. She almost looked like a ghost when I saw her. It also fits her character. She's a very brave and trusty horse who isn't scared of predators or enemy gunfire. She's wearing the Rattlesnake Vaquero saddle from the Trapper since it's the best looking saddle in the game. If I'm starting a new game, the White Arabian always needs to be in my stable. Well done, friend, and that is a great action shot in the swamp. Looking good. Pigposts writes, My horse is a piebald Tobiano Hungarian halfbred. His name is Toby, inspired by my Tobiano. His saddle is the Gurdon Vaquero. Toby serves me well, thank you. You're very welcome, friend. That piebald Tobiano is one of my top three, and Toby is a fantastic name. Well done. Red Harlow, a great friend to the channel, writes, This is my extremely good boy, the Count. He uses the Alligator Ranch Cutter saddle from the Trappers and has a red and black custom mohawk to make him look as classy as possible. He is named after Dutch Vanderlyn's horse, after all. Well done, friend. I wonder if this horse has a plan or dreams of Tahiti. If you see Red Harlow in the comments, be sure to say hi. He's a longtime supporter and can answer your questions both in story mode and online. Looking good, friend. Sean A. writes, Arthur named his buttermilk buckskin Kentucky saddler Ranger as my favorite Western TV show. Godless, which I insist you all watch, has a fine horse by the same name who is treated terribly by his master. I know that Arthur would never mistreat any of his faithful steeds. 
I share your fondness of the rattlesnake saddle as it feels the most western of all the trapper saddles. Hi Sean, oh I do love the buttermilk buckskin. I was obsessed with that horse when he came out. I made so many videos about where to find him and by find I meant steal. And it's always good to see another member of Team Mohawk. Godless keeps coming up in my Netflix suggestions queue, which I routinely ignore out of principle, but I will check it out for you. Nicely done, Sean. Talise writes, This is my silver dapple pinto mare named Tara. She is incredibly sweet, loyal, but doesn't like surprises. If ambushed, she will spook, but a few pats is all it takes to get her settled. She only threw me once, and that was when a cougar decided to pay us an unexpected visit. She wears a Nacogdoche saddle with hooded stirrups, Steel Diaz Corona horn and Cortora blanket. She also has the lantern breastplate. Looking good, Talis. It's always nice to see all the cool accessories you get online, and I really like that lantern breastplate. Well done. Teague Harper, a great friend and supporter of the channel, has a leopard blanket Appaloosa named Scout with the black stable trail saddle. And he writes, I like the horse and the double rainbow. And here is the Braithwaite Dark Bay Turcoman, named after Citation, the Triple Crown winner. And sporting the Trapper Panther saddle, the caption is, My friend Arthur's favorite horse. And finally Thor, the Ardennes bonus war horse, with the standard enhanced trail saddle. And Teague writes, This is a great mountain hunting and war horse. And that is an excellent point. Mountain terrain is very challenging for horses, and you need something strong and solid like an Ardennes up there. And these are some fine horses. Well done, friend. The amazing angsty teen man has a Perlino Andalusian named Marcella with the Panther Trail saddle, and he writes, The reason I chose the name Marcella is because the word means warlike, martial, and strong, and that perfectly describes the Andalusian. The coat is beautiful, and I like the creamy gray color with a pink cast. Very well said, friend, and the Perlino is one of the best horses you can get for Arthur. Additionally, your username always brings a smile to my face. Well done. Ultra has a rose gray bay Arabian named Ash with the panther trapper saddle and the right. The horse is fast and I like the coat. Very true, friend. Maybe the fastest horse in the game and that is a very pretty coat. Well done. Yay, Stu writes, I am here to show you my brave girl. The name is Andraste. It felt like a good name for a war horse, especially Arthur's war horse. A Perlino Andalusian with the panther trail saddle. And they go on to write, I am not very good with words, just happy to share my love for this great game with everyone. No worries, friend. Words are all about communicating your message, and you did that just fine. You told us everything we need to know, and Andraste is a perfect name for this horse. Well done, and many thanks. And Zach Goodman, an early subscriber and friend to the channel, writes, Here is Ghost, the silver dapple foxtrotter whose namesake comes from both appearance and acquisition, with the beaver roping saddle. Also, Vash, the Stampede, a Perlino Andalusian stallion and allusion to Trigun with the Rattlesnake Vaquero saddle. Looking good, Zach, and these are some very cinematic screenshots. Well done, friend. And that was fun. I want to thank everyone who submitted their good boys and girls. It was my pleasure to showcase them. We will absolutely do this again. This is going to become a regular thing, my version of viewer mail. And once more, if you did not see your horse in this video, it will be in part two. Well done, friends. I'm Super Antonio. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your views. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell for daily Red Dead Redemption 2 content, and we shall meet again. Further on down the trail. Yeah.